Hello everyone, we will be discussing an example. So the question is determine the voltage across the resistor. Now this is the network. In this network, there are two diodes, silicon and germanium and there is a resistor. We need to determine the voltage across this 2.2 kilo ohm resistor. Okay. Now let's talk about the diodes. Here there are two diodes and they are not the same. One is the germanium, another is a silicon. Now the silicon diode and germane diode are arranged in parallel. Yes, they are arranged in the parallel. So the barrier potential for the silicon is 0 0.7 volt. That means until and unless the silicon diodes get, gets the 0 0.7 volt across it, it does not turn on. And for the germanium, it is 0 0.3 volt. That means it does not turn on until and unless it gets 0 0.3 volt across it. Now we know that the voltage across the elements is same when connected in parallel when for example if if there are two resistors which are connected in parallel the voltage across them remains the same now which diode will turn on first both diodes cannot turn on why because one one diode has to get 0 0.7 volt another diode has to get 0 0.3 if both turn on their voltage drops doesn't match now let's see which diode will turn on first here here both diodes cannot be on because for this they need to maintain the same voltage drop across them because they are in parallel as they are in parallel they need to maintain the same voltage drop and this is not possible as they do have the different barrier potential one is 0 0.7 another is 0 0.3 so now let's see which diode will on first so the input voltage here the there is a voltage source of 12 volt right so whenever you switch on it or whenever it at the starting point at t is equal to 0 it is at 0 volt now let, let me read it and i will explain later from 0 volt to so the input voltage source goes from 0 volt to 12 volt over a period of time probably few millisecond but when it reaches 0 0.3 the germanium diode is on and and it maintain the voltage across it and the silicon diode will never get a chance to turn on because 0 0.3 volt is established and the silicon requires 0 point now what uh, what is it um, referring to that means whenever you switch on the voltage supply or when at the starting point the voltage is never 12 volt right it has to go from 0 volt to 12 volt but it, it may take few milliseconds, but it goes from 0 volt to 12 volt and settles at 12 volt. So in that duration, whenever the voltage reaches 0 0.3, the germanium diode will, uh, will turn on and it maintains that voltage. So, so the silicon diode will never get a chance to get a 0 point volt drop because across the both the diodes 0 0.3 volts gets established because of the germanium diode and the silicon diode will never turn on so here the germanium diodes only turn on because of uh, the voltage going from 0 volt to 12 volt over a period of time okay after understanding this we can uh, begin to the, calculate the voltage across the resistor now this is how the circuit would look like after our uh, what uh, our analysis so german diode will be on by 0 0.3 volt drop and the silicon diode will be off and now okay the german across the germanium there is a 0 0.3 volt drop so intuitively we can say that the here the voltage drop will be distributed across the elements so there are two elements 12 volt drop minus 0 0.3 which is 11.7 volt will be across the resistor so we can say this intuitively by looking at the circuit diagram we can also calculate using the KVL, which we will do in a meanwhile so 11.3 volt drop across the resistor now let's um, verify this whether it is true or not apply the KVL in the network now this is the network now we will apply the KVL in this loop so which is 12 volt minus 0 0.3 volt minus the current through the resistor into 2.2 kilo ohm which is equal to 0 the current is 11.3 volt divided by 2.2 kilo ohm let's don't simplify keep it like this 
So voltage across the resistor V0 is equal to I into R which is 11.3 volt divided by 2.2 kilo ohm into 2.2 kilo ohm. So if we cancel these out, we would get 11.3 volt which is correct. So we have uh, calculated the voltage across the resistor. Now that's it. Hope you like the example and stay tuned for the more examples. Subscribe my channel.